Hi beautiful, do you wanna know how to get rid of self-doubt? Here I'm gonna share with you 5 simple ways you can stop second guessing yourself. So let's do this. I'm Sebastian and this is Silver Tree, where you will find tips, tools and strategies for your journey of success. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel and wanna watch more videos like this. Also leave a comment below telling the reason of your doubt because later on I'm gonna explain you the importance of finding that reason. So I know that doubting about ourselves is I think quite common for every one of us and in this time it is easier for us to doubt about ourselves and our goals and the things we are doing because with social media everything is like really fast we have a lot of feedback really fast so the first thing you need to do to stop second guessing yourself is to find your why why are you doubting about yourself? Why are you having those fears, those limiting beliefs? Is everything is something you actually think? Or is something that someone else told you? Or is fear of failing? Find your why. Because the moment you find that reason, it will be easier for you to do something about it and if it's something that it's not yours that you don't think that or you don't feel that way then it is easier for you to let go that stuff and the next one is to stay in the present moment and this is like I think a basis on self no, stop doubting about ourselves because um, I think that we think a lot of uh, most of our times a lot in the, of the present and of the past and the future sorry I got too confused so you just need to know like one thing you can change your past and no one knows what is gonna happen in the future so the only thing we have is the present moment is the actions we do each day so that's the only thing you can act on and the only thing that you have power on so try to be in the present moment most of the time. I know that it's sometimes difficult because we have um, a lot of plans for our future, so try to stay in the present moment, it actually gives you a lot of peace. And the next one is to stop comparing yourself with others. And Maybe this is one of the biggest reasons uh, someone start doubting about themselves because maybe you see on social media that someone has a lot of success on the thing you wanna do and yeah you feel worried and you feel sad and maybe you feel it's not fair that they had success that doesn't matter each person has their own journey each person has their own abilities their own story so focus more on yourself on the things you wanna do the things you wanna tell to the world and yeah, 
because the more you compare yourself with others, the more damage you're gonna do to yourself. And it's okay to watch other in order to like find a way to do something you wanna do. Like if they are a mentor or if you wanna watch some inspiration, something like that. But if you start doubting about yourself and if you start being jealous about the other person, then comparing is not serving you. In that case, comparing is damaging you. So try to stop comparing and if you compare yourself, try to focus on the good things and try to find some inspiration and try to find some answer if someone achieved something, something you want. Try to find an answer on how they made it. So, yeah. And the next one is to take control of your thoughts. It is really important to know that you are able to control your thoughts, that it is not something mechanical, you have the power to control your thoughts and try to control those limiting beliefs. It's not just um, not paying attention to them, it's just um, accepting them and reframing them. Maybe your limiting belief is like, you're not good enough. Okay, accept that because maybe in your person you're not good enough for the thing you are doing. But reframe it. Say that, okay, right now I'm not good enough for this, but I'm gonna get better and I'm gonna improve. I'm gonna do this and this and this in order to improve myself. So don't get your don't give your limiting beliefs the power to control your mind. Take control of your limiting beliefs in order to take control of your life. And the last one and maybe one that most of the people don't know or don't, I don't know, take care, is to take care of yourself, is to knowing that you need to be 100% kind in order to do the things you want to do in your life. Because if you have some health issue, even if it is an emotional issue, then you're not going to be able 100% in your day-to-day -day activities. So try to be good with yourself, try to take care more of yourself because you are the basis of everything in your world and you are the only one that can change your life. So if you don't take care of yourself, no one else will do that. Okay, so love yourself, take care of yourself, find balance in your life and in the things you want to do in order to express your message to the world. So I hope this helped you stop doubting about yourself. Leave a comment below telling why are you doubting about yourself and go one step further and say what are you going to do in order to stop doubting about yourself. Now that you know that you have control, what are you going to do? So if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Always, always remember that you are successful and an amazing human being. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.